Hey guys, it's Sajik Damwood again here, back again with another new video for you guys. And today I'm back talking about some of my most anticipated games for 2015. And I definitely think 2015 is going to be another incredible year for gaming. There's a lot of games coming out. So much that I really had to narrow this down, so I started thinking like, oh, narrow it down to about five games. And like, I'm, these are five games I'm just really, really anticipating. And this isn't like everything, obviously, because there's just too much. Like, there's so many other games I'm looking forward to, but these are the ones that I'm like, I can't wait to get my hands on. So, what do you say we delve into it? And the first game I'm really looking forward to is a game I've been dying to play on the Wii U. And when I bought a Wii U in the back of my mind, I was really, really looking forward to this game. I just could not stop thinking about it once they announced it. But that is, of course, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Anyone who's been following me for a while knows that. Xenoblade Chronicles is honestly one of my favorite JRPGs of the last gen. I think it's just phenomenal in all regards, except for the fact that it kind of wasn't in HD. And I think since it was on the Wii, that was a little bit of a detriment to it because it didn't do it the justice it deserved for some of these incredible environments the game had. And in the back of my mind, when I was playing Xenoblade Chronicles, I was thinking, man, it would be incredible to see this game in HD. And with Xenoblade Chronicles X, we're finally going to be able to see those glorious, creative, inventive environments and stunning HD and all the monsters in the world and that's what Xenoblade Chronicles did so well was just establishing an incredible world for you to explore that was absolutely gigantic full of life and monsters it was incredible to see like these large vistas with like monsters moving in packs together and stuff like that it was just so interesting the combat was great the combat played like an MMO style game but consolidated obviously and the story was just phenomenal, like the story was just absolutely incredible and just a beautiful world and just a beautiful game in general so obviously I'm dying for Xenoblade Chronicles X, I can't wait to get that on the Wii U. Next is an absolutely huge release that I'm just dying for and I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around the fact that this game exists and it's actually coming out very soon, it's going to be coming out this year. As a huge SMT fan, <laughs> there's no doubt that this is probably my most anticipated game for this year. I'm of course talking about Persona 5. I cannot wait for Persona 5. It's it's finally coming. I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around the fact that it does exist and it's actually coming very soon. But in a way, we still really don't know a whole lot about Persona 5. We have not seen any gameplay footage. We haven't seen what the in-game like graphics and how it looks in-game. We, we haven't seen that. We haven't seen any of the support characters. The only thing we've really seen so far is the main character in that second kind of teaser trailer we have seen the main character but still very vague and Atlas is really good about that Atlas is really good at kind of keeping their mouth shut and keeping details vague for like some of their really highly anticipated releases and I kind of like that in a way because to be honest I really want to go into Persona 5 like not knowing anything I might honestly avoid any trailers like I'm sure they're gonna have a gameplay trailer eventually and <laughs> it's gonna be hard but I'll probably try and avoid those trailers just to kind of go into Persona 5 just like fresh but I'm obviously looking forward to it and for SMT fans this is a huge thing it actually exists and rejoice SMT fans it's coming and your wait is almost over and I'll be there with you guys to enjoy this amazing game what I know is going to be just an incredible incredible RPG the next is a game from another RPG series that I'm obviously a gigantic fan of and of course, I cannot wait for the new Tales of game, Tales of Zisteria. <laughs> I don't know about you, but every time I say Tales of Zisteria, I instantly think of Tales of Vesperia, but that's just me. But I'm really looking forward to Tales of Zisteria. What I like is they actually really did try and do something a little bit different with the battle system, so I don't know if you guys are totally aware or have heard it, but they actually did make a change to Tales of Zisteria, where it's a little bit more real-time with the actual battle system. What I mean by that is usually... In Tales of games, you have like an open world, right, or open dungeon, and you see like the monsters roaming around. And when you come into contact with a monster, that'll tr usually trigger like this kind of glass breaking animation, and then that might take a couple seconds, and then you're into the battle. But now what they did is they kind of ditched that, so when you kind of bump into an enemy in the overworld in Tales of Hysteria, it automatically triggers the fight right then and there, so there's no like breakaway, so it's almost instantaneous. And like wherever you're fighting, like within that map, you're fighting there, so it's like a real time battle system, but still kind of has that battle system you expect from a Tales of game. And it still has your like kind of after game animations and like your victory poses and all that, which I always love with the Tales of games. But that was really interesting to me to see them kind of 
do something a little bit different and kind of speed up the game in a way with the battle system being kind of streamlined and like instantaneous. That's a really interesting concept. At first, from early footage, I saw it kind of looked a little bit choppy, but it looks like they have worked that out. And it just looks like a gorgeous game, and I love the concept that tells this story is more leaning towards this like extremely high fantasy stuff. It's supposed to be about like dragons and like this kind of classic tale and I really love all the character designs so I just cannot wait for Tales of Hysteria. And this next game I'm really looking forward to is a game that at first I wasn't super excited about or anything and then the more I started researching it, the more I saw of it, I started to get a little bit more excited about it because it started to look it started to look better. It's one of those things that I started to look better every time I watched like some new footage of it or heard more about it. And it's one of those things, too, that I'm really looking forward to this game because it's kind of one of the first true next-gen JRPGs, or current-gen. I always say next-gen, but it's, I guess, current-gen. But it's one of the first true current-gen JRPGs, a JRPG built from the ground up with the PS4 or Xbox One in mind. And I'm, of course, talking about Final Fantasy XV, actually. And I'm really looking forward to Final Fantasy XV. If we're being honest, like, I'm not the biggest Final Fantasy fan in the world, but that's not due to the fact that I don't like the series or anything. It's more due to the fact that there's still a lot of games in the series that I really want to play and really need to play. And it, it looks like a really good game. I'm really looking forward to kind of like the action-based battle system. I'm totally digging that so far because it looks like it's an absolute blast to play. And the game just looks absolutely stunning. Like, it just looks so beautiful and like the cinematics look like they're going to be incredible, which Square Enix is definitely... Definitely known for your cinematics and doing a phenomenal job there, but yeah, after all like the reluctancy aside, I mean, at the end of the day, it's one of the first true next-gen, current-gen JRPGs, and I really am looking forward to Final Fantasy XV. And the final game I want to go ahead and mention is a game that may or may not even come out this year. I'm kind of thinking it probably would come out like early next year, but who, who knows, you never know, and I'm definitely looking forward to this game nonetheless, but... It's from a series that's honestly one of my favorite action RPG series and a series that I just think has some of the most incredible music you will ever hear in any RPG period. I'm of course talking about Ease 8. Man, I, I'm a huge Ease fan and I just cannot believe we're getting a new Ease game. I remember like it was debuted at Tokyo Game Show and every year I watch Tokyo Game Show because I look forward more to Tokyo Game Show more, more so than E3 because TGS has more stuff I'm kind of looking forward to. And I remember watching TGS Live, and I have watched the live announcement as it happened for Ease, and I wish you guys could have seen my reaction. I just about flipped out. I could not believe we were getting a new Ease game, especially, and this is kind of one of the kickers when they showed that it was going to be coming to the Vita, so you could still play it on the handheld, but the huge kicker was that it's going to be available on the PS4, and that, like, blew my mind. I was like, oh my god, Ease is finally coming back to the console. It's been so long since Ease are going to pitch them on the PS2 that to see uh, Ease on a home console is amazing and that's totally the way I'm going to play it because uh, just to have Ease again on a console is an amazing feeling. But if you have not played Ease, definitely check it out. It's their phenomenal action RPG series. This one, Ease 8, from what they showed, just like the brief little bit of what they showed, kind of gave me vibes of like memories of Celseta and like E7, so I'm assuming it's going to have still like that kind of character switching aspect where you're going to have to switch between, between characters and kind of utilize their advantages against certain monsters and stuff like that. And that'll pretty much do it for this video. Like I mentioned before, this isn't everything by any means that I'm looking forward to. There's just so much more that I'm looking forward to that would just take way too long to cover. So I just kind of wanted to narrow it down to like some of the, like, you know, these are huge anticipated games for me. But there's so many other games I'm looking forward to and so many great games coming out. And regardless of whatever genre you like or whatever kind of games you're into is definitely something for everyone to be excited about and I think that's that's a reflecting of this medium and how far it's come that this is becoming one of the best forms of entertainment out there and there's just so much great content coming out every year and it's improving every year and every year we're sitting here saying the same thing like oh my god I can't believe how many amazing games are coming out this year but this is going to be another phenomenal year for gaming just like I'm sure 2016 is so as always, thank you for watching so much, guys. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing what you guys are highly anticipating, so definitely let me know below. But as always, thank you seriously for watching. Until next time, guys, take it easy.